We're going to be looking at ITV issues. The ITV is this muscle that runs down the side of your leg and runs right down to your knee. And it's a very, very strong, inelastic type of tissue. It's almost like a fibrous material. People will often say, oh, you know, I've had these ITV issues, I've just started running. And it is in fact one of the main issues that runners experience. And they get on a foam roller and they roll and roll and they say, oh yeah, it hurts so bad. It hurts so much to do that, but it feels so good. I've got to tell you guys, stop rolling your ITV. It's not gonna do anything for you. Now that might come as some controversy because for a long time, we've thought that ITB syndrome or ITB issues are a friction problem. It gets too tight and it starts rubbing against the edge of the knee and causing pain, but we now know that is not the case. ITB syndrome is a result of too much tension and poor activation of the muscles that control it. We're talking about uh, the glute max muscle and some of the other side muscles on the hip, such as the glute medius. What they do is tension that to the correct amount so that when we're walking and running, it stabilizes the knee appropriately. So when you're getting on that foam roller, there's not much point rolling up and down the bottom half of your leg. If you're gonna use it, you need to be using it up around the hip and around the side of the buttock. Doing that's gonna help take a bit of tension off it rather than rolling on something that's never gonna change in its tension. To get that area, place it right up high and you're gonna probably start from where the hip bone begins up to where the pelvis is. And so this one, get down on an elbow, support yourself with your legs and it's just, you're only gonna be moving probably maybe two inches at the most, just gently back and forward, taking some tension off those muscles in through there. Now the muscles that attach to the ITB aren't just the ones on the side, they come around the front a little bit and then all the way, way around at the back. So you might go slightly forwards here, just working on the front of those muscles and then coming back onto the glutes as well. And they're very powerful connection to the ITV. And these are the ones that are mainly responsible for ITV issues. Now, on top of that, it is an activation issue as well. That muscle may not be activating appropriately. The, we're talking about the glute max and maybe the tensor fascia lata as well. It may be acting inappropriately, putting too much tension on or not enough, or it's activating at the incorrect time as well. And the way to assess this is get the chiropractor to check hip activation and hip extension, which we do quite commonly in the practice to check for these issues. And we'll determine whether or not the muscle's activating appropriately, what exercises might help this, adjustments are known to improve the firing rate of this muscle, and how we can get this muscle to adequately tense the ITB correctly, the right amount at the right time. And that's gonna get that ITB functioning well, reducing the tension on it and minimizing the discomfort.